party. We're over here. You're over there anyway, yeah. <laughs> Let's go back and do that. Let's <laughs> <laughs> just hang over here. <laughs> See how much confusion Brennan is. Yeah. You come on with the piano during uh, Kathy, yes, Miss Phillips? She says, I thought, I thought I'd come in when she says thank you. That's what I have, is yes, Miss Phillips. Miss Harris, I knew you were going to bring the piano on. I bring the piano on? Yes. I thought he brought the piano on when he was like, set that Sunday in Cosmo Brown. He was like, I've already sent it for it. I, I had it when it was thank you, but I didn't know how to write this thank you. I haven't done so long. Yeah, you're watching a little bit over here. And yeah. So, it's otherwise. I'll be over here, Sarah. I'm no, over here. She's over here. here. And then yeah. she comes over there. Oh. Yeah, then he's already out here. When is it? I don't really think I thought it was because we were over here. And he's like, let's send for Cosmo Brown. And I'm like, I've already sent for him. Oh, am I already here? Walk on then. I'm already there. Then it's great. Okay. Yeah. And you're going like, to pop your head up behind the piano. Oh, oh, oh okay. I'm happy. Woo! Yeah. Okay. okay. All right, Kat. Kat, that was a take. We'll break for lunch now. I think, Kathy, will you change and come back, please? Yes, Priscilla. Looks good, Phillips. I think we'll be able to meet the competition. Who is that little girl who just left? She looks familiar. I knew you'd notice her. Uh, I featured her in the supper because I believe she has a lot of talent. Okay, I believe she has a lot of talent. She'd be very good for the part of the kid's sister. Say, that's a good idea. Uh, when can I hear her sing? Uh, she's changing right now if, if you want to wait here a few minutes. Uh, let's get Cosmo Brown in here. I've already sent for him. <laughs> Uh, I wanted him to hear her say before you did our uh, so to see if he felt the same way that she did. Uh, what are you <laughs> no, no, when I can breathe, I'll be conscious. <laughs> okay. I've already sent for him. I wanted to see, I wanted him to hear her sing before you did our act to see if he felt the same way that I did. Kathy! Yes, will you come in here, please? She's already behind us, like we're totally oblivious, because we're oblivious to him. Yeah. <laughs> I gotta change. We're just like, Kathy! Oh, no! Giant hat and stuff, just like, come on, go, you are my, and then have to do you were meant for me, and I know. Kathy, will you come out here, please? Oh, hello! I would like you to meet Mr. Simpson. How do you do? I gather you're a very talented young lady. Thank you. I would like you to sing for Mr. Simpson. Kathy, if, if that's all right with you. Sure, I'd love to. Well, I hate singing and I don't want to sing for I don't want to sing in front of the producer. Screw my career. Do you know you are Melody Press? What key? E flat. E flat. E flat. You sing a little bit and then you go, honey, move your butt out there. So you're singing to them, and he comes out and he's like, Hurry crap, I'm going to the boys here! Just like the black man that I'm singing. So he comes out. <laughs> Bravo! Bravo! Don, do you know this young lady? That's Kathy Selden. I'm thinking of casting her as the kid's sister in Beautiful World. <laughs> That's terrific! Well, thanks anyway, Mr. Simpson. It was nice of you. Uh, now, now, wait a minute. What the? <laughs> no point in discussing it any further. I'm halfway up the lot right now. What, what do you mean? It's not. Well, before Mr. Lockwood refreshes your memory, you might as well know that I'm the girl who hit Miss Lamont with the cake. Believe me, it was meant for Mr. Lockwood. I'm sorry, Miss Phillips. I should have told you. Goodbye. Oh, just a second. <laughs> <laughs> Selden. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, what's all this about? Well, we were going to cast Miss Selden in a feature role, but if it would make you and Nina unhappy. Unhappy? I think it's wonderful. He's been looking for her for weeks. I'm like, for her. <laughs> <laughs> Are you speaking for me too? Now look, RF. The owner of the, the owner of the coconut grove may do what Lena tells him to. Bye. 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 I thought it would be a great stage picture. <laughs> <laughs> we talked um, about stage pictures today. Bye. <laughs> uh, 
Um, <laughs> uh, where was I? Now look, R. If the owner of the coconut grove may do what he wants to, may may do what Lena tells him to, but you are the head of this studio. Yes. I'm the head of this studio. She's hired. And don't let Lena know she's on the lot. Yes. Now that it's all settled, uh, take care of it, Phillips. Yes, Mr. Simpson. Oh, thank you. Oh, thank you, Mr. Simpson. Thank you, Miss Phillips. You deserve it. Phillips! Wait! Sit down! Glad you turned Phillips would skip out. <laughs> <laughs> really? Really? I'm Billy Phillips. That's how she <laughs> Okay. You deserve it. <laughs> Glad you turned up, Kathy. We've been looking inside every cake in town. <laughs> thanks, thanks, Cosmo. Oh, you guys are here. Thanks, Cosmo. Thank you. You're feeling the truck. What? Feeling the truck. What's that? Cosmo is feeling like a third wheel. Oh, yeah, yeah. The truck. That's it. Oh, they're not making out. Oh, okay. They don't make out. They're just That's mad. They're just mad. I forget. They're just mad. Thanks, Cosmo. Oh, no. Oh, <laughs> guys. Two thousand. Got it. No. Which one? Thanks, Cosmo. <laughs> Taxi. <laughs> I turned this town upside down. Then I got the New York office on it, and <laughs> I remembered you'd said the New York page, New York stage was clamoring for you. That's slight like exaggeration. I was clamoring for the New York stage. In fact, I started out for New York. Then the talkies came. You know, up to now I haven't thought much of the talkies, but uh, if that's what brought you here, it's the greatest invention since the wheel. Now listen, Mr. Lockwood. Now listen, Mr. Lockwood. Just because you're a big movie star doesn't mean a girl is going to have lunch with you just like that. Will you have lunch with me just like that? Sure. Main dining room right this way. Whee! <laughs> Don't you usually tear a pheasant with Miss Lamont at lunch? Now look, Kathy, all that stuff about Lamont and me is sheer publicity. Well, it certainly seemed more than that from what I've read in the articles and the columns in the fan magazines. Oh, you read the fan magazines. I glance at them at the beauty parlor, dentist's office, 